as Egyptians across the country mark the second anniversary of the Arab Spring protests, which ousted former leader Hosni Mubarak, many, including minorities like the Coptic Christians, are reflecting on their situation under their new president. The Copts are the largest Christian minority in the Middle East, and they make up some 10% of the Egyptian population of 85 million. However, many fear their rights are being eroded under the Islamist president Mohamed Mursi, according to the editor-in-chief of Watani, a Christian newspaper based in Cairo. They are extremely worried about tomorrow because they don't know what will be of Egypt. Uh, uh, with the rise of political Islam and the rule of Egypt under the uh, Islamic Brotherhood group. But some Copts are hopeful the Arab Spring Revolution isn't over and that its goals of freedom and tolerance will be realized. The revolution did not end and it will achieve all of its demands. The Egyptian people are strong, aware of their surroundings and understand what is going on. Even with the high rate of illiteracy, the Egyptian people will achieve its goals. As it currently stands, the Sharia-influenced constitution has paved the way for an Islamist state. Uh, Islamic Brotherhood group and its political arm do not hide their intentions and their agenda to transform Egypt into an Islamic state. So what is their perception of an Islamic state? Our past experience with their announcements, with their moves, political moves, and with the drafting of the constitution leaves us very skeptical about an Islamic state to be smuggled into Egypt. The Copts are not the only ones worried about their future under the Islamists. Women are also increasingly alarmed about their disappearing rights, as sexual assaults have soared since Morsi came to power. In December, a young Egyptian blogger named Alia Magda El Mahdi protested naked for the second time to draw attention to the plight of women in her country. However, Egypt still needs to vote on members of the House of Representatives, and change may yet come to the country where many hope a free, fair and tolerant society can emerge.